I was just at the top of my game. We turn to Myrtle Potter. Myrtle Potter. Myrtle Potter. Myrtle Potter is somewhat of a legend. She's not known to many outside the medical world, but here at the most important conference on cancer, Myrtle Potter is a celebrity. This year, Glamour magazine honored her as an everyday icon. Myrtle Potter's success is truly a feat. She's nothing like a girl you've ever seen before. Nothing you can compare to your neighborhood. I was responsible for the drug paralysis, for the launch of Plavix. I was known as the market maker. This is good for health care and good for the country. Yeah, that's a great point. I'm living this life. Extreme success, wonderful family, parties and politics, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, everything is just brought to a screeching, shocking halt. I used to jump horses. I was going around the ring, getting ready to jump my horse, and I hit the jump too close. I came flying out of the saddle. I came down and I crushed this shoulder. Myrtle's shoulder surgery is successful, but within just weeks, her life is inexplicably hanging in the balance. I'm in the hospital. My liver is shot. My lungs are shot. I'm in total kidney failure and my skin is starting to peel off. I'm starting to lose the palms of my hands and the soles of my feet. It was absolutely unbelievable. Test after tests are run, but whatever is killing Myrtle remains a mystery. My arms are just scarred from so many blood draws. I have to find another doctor because if I stay with you, I'm gonna die. Myrtle builds a team of friends, family, and experts who are all working against the clock. I know if I go to sleep, I'm gonna die. I said to him, I'm a single mom. I have two kids. You just can't let me die. I have to be there for my kids. In a final desperate move, Myrtle pushes her new doctors for a fresh assessment. New information comes from skin and kidney biopsies that had not been previously performed. We finally figured it out. It was the medication I had been taking for my shoulder. So I started my dialysis treatment in the hospital. Within six weeks of me going, my kidney started working again. It was just, yeah, just can't explain it. I came out of that experience with one clear perspective, and that was, if I could help it, no one would experience what I experienced again. The interesting thing about these stories mm -hmm. is that they're so dramatic, right? Mm -hmm. They affect your family, they affect your job, yeah. they affect your relationships, they affect your livelihood, they affect mm -hmm. your money, so they almost have tentacles in places you wouldn't even imagine. And we're gonna address all of that. I was born and raised in Las Cruces, a dusty desert town in southern New Mexico. Six kids in my family. We're just one big family. We didn't have a lot of money. My life journey is one of real determination. The thing that makes me know I can do this television show mm -hmm. is I'm still Myrtle from mm -hmm. that dusty town in mm -hmm. Las Cruces, New Mexico, mm -hmm. who still gets together where they're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to connect and I care. You don't have to tell me. I know what you think when you hear the name Myrtle, right? <laughs> I'm supposed to be just probably a little bit more rotund with a whole head of gray hair and probably a little house dress and maybe some fuzzy slippers, right? <laughs> but as it turns out, I love my name. As I was thinking about what was really meaningful to me in this company, I literally went on the internet and I said, I want all words with any of the letters from my name. Mm -hmm. And the first 
thing that popped up was empower. Mm -hmm. And I said, that, that's it. Yeah. This is all about empowerment. She's nothing like a girl.